Okay, so I have all this amazing paper. So today you're gonna make a scrap community um, with all the paper. So the first thing you're gonna do, write your name and code on the back. Then you're gonna put pencils away, bring them to the front. If you want to pause the video and do that right now, you can. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get a black strip of paper. This is gonna be your ground. So you're gonna get the black strip of paper. You're just gonna cut a little bit off. So you want just kind of a little wonky line. You're going to put that black paper in the recycle box. That's the only thing that you are allowed to recycle today. Or you can keep it. You might need it for something later. Then if you notice, I'm kind of outlining because this is a big piece of, of paper. I'm outlining and then kind of scribbling in the glue with my glue stick. And I am gluing this on the bottom of my paper. So obviously at some point you need a newspaper, scissors, and a glue stick. So once you have that done, you have the ground, here's the sky, you have to create your community. So what does that mean to you? And you've looked at some examples. There will be some examples on the screen. So you're gonna put f at least four buildings or houses on your ground. Obviously they have to be on the ground. They can even be down here. So you can have way more. The buildings can actually be overlapping each other. If you get to, once you have the buildings in the ground, sorry, I just ran into that. Um, you have to use the other paper for details. So say that you need a triangle roof. This is a trick. So what you do is you find a square in the scrap bucket and you cut diagonal across your square. That will give, give you two roofs. So you can use one roof. Maybe you can give a roof to a friend or put it back in the cut paper box. Speaking of the cut paper box, what people do is they... They use a piece of paper on their artwork and then they squish up this paper and they throw it in the trash. Well, we don't have trash cans out today for that reason. So that means you have to reuse. So your trash might be somebody else's treasure. So don't put it, don't throw it away. Go put it back in the scrap bucket. Ask somebody if they need a blue roof or, you know, figure out something else you could do besides throwing it away. Once you have your buildings, your roofs, um, you're gonna add details like windows, doors. Um, you can put a lake, you can put something on the lake, you can put transportation, meaning a train, a car, you can put something in your sky. You can add whatever you want to your paper, but you obviously wanna make sure that it's recognizable. Remember, you have no pencils, so everything that you are doing is with scissors. So it's kind of almost like painting with scissors, and I'm really excited to see what you are going to create. You may also create animals, and you can also create um, people if you want to. So you're able to look up at the screen because the example will be there for you to see. Now, say that it's time to clean up and there's going to be a lot of cleanup. You're going to pick up your newspaper with your artwork, carry it to the dry rack, glue sticks and scissors go away. Then you have to make sure all of the paper is off of the floor today, which means we're all going to have to help each other. There should be no paper on the chairs or on the tables or the floor. So you wanna pick it up carefully, put it in the cut paper box. You don't wanna squish it. Remember, we need to save that for the next class. And then once your whole area is cleaned up, including under your table and on top, you may line up. I hope you have a great time.